so it's about 10 30 right now i'm about to head out to south crib you guys see my buddy saw before he has a street glide i'm gonna show you guys a few of his other bikes today because he got a s1000 he has uh pan america and a few other toys up in there in the house but um me and this little guy right here we're gonna be heading over there to watch the uh, harley davidson review at uh, his house and i want to give you guys like a first impression a first reaction of me watching the launch um give you my uh, organic real reaction while it's going on at the same time so if you guys enjoy the video and then we'll talk a little bit about the bikes afterwards um all the new releases the information i'm gonna get today um and then i have some huge news um huge 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 news uh so we'll get to that so i'll check you guys in a few Here watching this launch, super excited. Um, so I might get another bike after the 10 bikes that he has in the garage. No way. <laughs> after after everything, we we'll go out to the garage and we're gonna see uh, the launch. Show we're gonna see his toys. And road glide when it started, models is that first step for us into that performance leading Great American Touring product line. Designed for weight, designed for power, designed for performance. Well, we'll Let's get rid of the two up seats. Yeah. Let's make it fast and more nimble. Uh, have better lean angle. Go right rest colors. There's a big appetite for people who just want to take their bike, make it cool, make you know, evolution. That quality, right? And the form factors. Back. Oh, the wheels are sweet. Oh. You want to put it louder or that's good? No, that's good? We're bringing the 117 powertrain with a yeah. heavy breather. I like that seat. Seat. Right. What we're offering like is it? a performance bagger trim kit. I also think of it kind of as an a la carte listing of products that really take people. I do see Jerry getting that bike. <laughs> yeah. I it's like, right. I'm not gonna knock it until I see the most person. Yeah. But can you produce it in 3D? That's a different story. Color, graphics, finishes. There's things that we're doing on these bikes. Back to the customization to our color? customers. Green? Possibly the shade. That's like being sort of the mantra. Yeah, I don't know if I like that in those years. It continues to be paint and graphics. See, not the orange? Tech and I like the orange. Yeah. 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 CBO accentuates all of those things. The magic that we're putting all yeah. of that together in one big pack. There's a lot of black in it. For CBO, okay. we always try to... Really, oh, yeah, that was nice. The paint and graphics options for CBO for 22. I think everybody can find some. The yellow looks wow. nice, too. Wow. They're all very unique and different from one another. Wow. Wow. Low rider, baby. <laughs> it sucks that we saw all these pictures already. I know. I, I really wanted to get, like, the full picture, but, yeah, whatever. I like that fairy. <laughs> that fairy was so sick. To be honest with you, I like it better than... I like it better than the original one. Oh my god. I like the, 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 the vents in it. I like the, the lines, right? Shape. Yeah. Lowrider ST. Further, faster. We're just super excited about these two models. Wow, Lowrider S, and now our new Lowrider family member, the Lowrider ST. But even the Lowrider I mean, S has a one black and bronze. Yeah, that's no sort of like but a but that's trademark. how that bike should have first come out in the gray beginning. gray is really hot in like the that's probably the one you know, 125 foot Big news for Lowrider S fans. So it's a noticeable case. Also played with the location of the instrumentation and the suspension. I see. We brought the bike up off the ground a little bit more to give it a little more lean angle. We've also taken the instrumentation and moved it from the console and the fuel tank and put it up into the rider's eyesight. And that's something that we've heard directly from riders that they wish they could oh. have a little less movement in the neck. And I kind of wish that gauge was on the bike since the rider us. The analog gauge is the one with crazy. It's cool, but I, I like the wrap gauge better with the, with the needle. The that looks sick. Key, we are that looks super sick, excited right? about what this is going to bring. Look at that, that's nasty, bro. Gets to that customer that may not need the full American right. Touring, but is really looking yeah, for that look performance that package. It's and cool, it's I like it, but touring brakes. I prefer the other one. Yeah. Look at that bag, it's, it's short, bro. Increasing the displacement. I don't know why they would do that. Look at that, it is, it is, it is. It is. I don't, that's gonna look so stupid when you do a two-in-one, bro. Fixed fairings. 
I know why they did it because they, but then they should have put a, a, a factory two to one, like the shows that we. What bike comes like that? The fat bike. We started to see just a couple bikes. Oh no, the sport bike. The BSC of a hundred. Then they come in two and the one big one. Executed in the old man. Sport bike, yeah, sport bike. So they should have put that exhaust on there. The long haul, the bike comes standard with cruise control. Oh, it comes out of a cruise control. Yeah. <laughs> and that was the 56. That's why the cruise control. controls were on backboard, because they were safe. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody. All right, this is what we've been waiting for, the riding gear. The riding gear. <laughs> I absolutely love this. All right, so really quick, just to recap everything, uh, the CBOs, which is first on it. Um, I know you were really waiting for that, to see the CBOs. Um, I saw the little clip in the in the little uh, video that Harley Davidson put up on the Instagram page the day before, and the orange one. I was like, uh, but I'm like, nah, I need to see it in person. But that might be my favorite see, one. Seeing the whole bike, the orange one changed it. Yeah. yeah, they just they just showed you a little piece of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like orange, orange bike again. It looked like it was all orange, you know? Because that performance orange they had in 2020. Mm -hmm. I didn't really you know. It was just orange. Yeah, yeah. And it didn't really look. This this looks cool. That looks cool. With the, the yellow the, one looks cool. The so. graphic, the, yeah. The, the green one with the flames. I like that one. I, that, that was like kind of subtle, and but I'm pretty I'm pretty sure like in the sun it was like. Oh, I, like crazy. I, I don't know if it's. I don't know if I'm tempted to trade my bike in for them though. Yeah, that was my 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 question to you because I know you dumped a shit ton of money into your bike like a lot and it looks amazing, which we're gonna show you guys in a few minutes. Um, and I know you've had some talks before about you know I might I might I might want a CVO. That's the only way I'd get rid of that bike anyway. To get a CVO, I would have right? to get a CVO. Yeah. yeah. But what would I don't do know. one of these call your attention? Like you know that's it right there or not? Look at it. No. But I have. Ideas? I still want to see them in person. Yeah, of course. Because I mean, to be honest with you, I didn't care for the Pan America when it and came out. Saw it in person. It's in my garage right yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know, that that orange one, man, to me is my favorite probably. I and I I think they're gonna look way better in person. Yeah. You, even so. though you saw the wheels, right? Yes. Oh, dude. Yes. Amazing. And and the chrome with the yellow. Yeah. You know what that That's yellow that bike out. really reminded me of? You're gonna make fun of me probably. What? The Transformers? <laughs> Rocky Balboa. Remember he had that yellow Harley? Remember oh yeah, 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 yeah. That shit reminded me of him. That, that, that was like what? Rocky three? You can put that picture of that bike up on the screen, right? Right here? Or oh, right there, where is it? <laughs> right there. Get a picture what of was it. it. Rocky three? Rocky three, when he it? got when Mickey died and then he took the helmet yeah, and he threw it at the statue. Yeah. He had that yellow Harley. That yeah. seriously, that's the first thing that came to my mind. I'm like, look at that. It looks like the Rocky bike. Alright, so CVOs, I mean they they all look phenomenal. I think they, they look great. Is it enough for you to buy one? I don't know. We're gonna look at them in person. Um what else? What else? Then you have the STs. The STs, what do you think about the STs? If you're going for performance bagger, absolutely, because they're doing half the work for you already. We need some of the price first. Because that is it's, it's gonna be the specials and the STs and then the CVOs, so I'm pretty sure the STs are gonna be pretty up there in price. So a special right now is what? 28 to 31? At the door, you're looking at 30, 32, 33. Okay. It depends. So the ST is going to be what? Five grand more? Oh, yes. Maybe. Say it's four grand more, right? Give or take. Now you're looking at what? 36? Is it worth 37? it? 37? How much is the CBO going to be? Because I mean, at that point... I mean, CBO is like around 40-ish, but this year it might... If the, the, if the CBO go up to 50, that's a lot. I, I, I say going up to 50, like if they drop, like I said, like if they had 131s in them, a little more things here and there, and people wouldn't mind paying it because it's already done. You know? I mean, the changes they've done to them within the past year or two are, are drastic changes, yes. Um, but still, so it's, it's still, uh, still a lot of money. I love you. Love you too, buddy. You love him? <laughs> Why? Because we got that bond, bro. <laughs> because what? <laughs> Thank you for the iPad. <laughs> for the what? <laughs> for the iPad. I, yeah, no problem, man. Yeah, so the STs, um, I think they look great. They do. They look great. I like the short bags. to see one in person. The short bags. Did they have two in the ones? No, right? No. Nah. No. They had the gold wheels, they had the Dominion grips on them. Yeah. I'm assuming that the one that's stock. Um, I don't know. Sometimes for a lot of stuff like this, they'll add Dominion parts just to make them pop more. Yeah. All right, forget about those bikes now. Now for the low rider. Low rider. ST. Um, I'm upset at the fact that they were like, well, you know, we went back and looked at the books, and yeah, we 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 thought it deserved the bigger engine. Duh, <laughs> from the beginning. 
It should, it should, it should have had the 117, right? Yeah, so, I mean, awesome that it has 117 now. Uh, upgraded suspension, higher. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's awesome. And then the gauge relocation, I think is awesome. I know you, you relocated your gauges. And you, and you like yes, that, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's not cheap to relocate them. Uh -huh. I mean, the one I did was like 550 from my machinist. Yeah. I like, you know, those quality stuff. It looks good. But I don't like that they put the digital gauge there, though. No. On the ST. On the ST, yeah. I mean, uh, I'm sure it's definitely a cleaner look and it looks better, but I'm just, I'm just an old school guy. I want that gauge. I, I like the analog, yeah. I want yeah. the gauge. Even if it was digital, just. Just give me. Why didn't they put the lo the the sports the S gauge there? The, all digital. That, that, that's why I said because that, that that went pretty cool. Does Cause. that does that work with that motor specifically? The, the, that... the, the tech is there. Yeah. I, I I've heard from a company a long time ago. They were like, listen, it costs us nothing to add this onto this bike. FXLR S T. S L X R S T. Yeah. The model. bags, bro. The bags in the back. I want it done even. Yeah, and it was funny because you, 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 you pointed that out right away in the pictures. I'm like, wait a minute, what? I'm like, I don't know, it kind of does look a little shorter, but I'm not sure. You that did point that out right away. That was a mistake, bro. It looks weird because, like, no, 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 nobody's rocking two pipes. Nobody's on gonna, the side. Nobody, everybody's gonna do a two and a one in that thing. Right? So Everybody. It's gonna, it's gonna look a little off. So you're gonna have a bag like this and a bag like this. And then the pipe's gonna be low. Yeah. And well, it's gonna be a gap there. Well, it's, it's kind of like those guys that have the bags and the specials. And then they have the two openings for the pipes on the yeah, back. But, but that's, a little, that's a little easier on the eyes than... I don't know. I don't know. That, that, that one pipe... They both, yeah, they, they're they both there. For it. me, they're both... Yeah. That, I don't know, man. They didn't think about it there. You, you heard him say, oh, we're listening to the riders. Yeah, yeah. With the gauge relocation. Are they really listening to us? Because we everybody puts a two and a one on that thing. Yeah. I don't know, we'll see. I mean, it, it, looked like, it looks like it might be like an inch to an inch and a half. It, it looks like it's like this much, but... Nah, that's a lot, it, dude. Yeah? That's a lot. We're yeah, gonna have to measure it. It looks like it might be like two inches, maybe. Uh, we're gonna have to yeah. measure it. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Uh, yeah, I think it's a little more. I, I really think it's like this, bro. Nah, that's too much. How big is the pipe? Um, we're gonna get into that stop pipe is probably like this. Like this. Like this? So it's, it's at yeah. least that. Yeah. We'll see. We'll, we'll go. We'll see. Maybe they have one there today. Okay. Um, the fairing, you loved it, right? I did. The design, you like it more than the original? I do. <laughs> it's so it's so cool. Awesome. The lines are perfect, the vents. The junior's going to Bergen Harley tomorrow. He's going to go order I'm going to order my 2022 <laughs> FXL or ST. I don't know, maybe. I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, just go talk numbers and see what, you know, see what it works yeah. out for. Well, you know what? No, we can go online right now because I'm pretty oh, sure shoot. that they might have Let's them up. And then it. we'll talk about, we'll talk about pricing. Um, guys, we're gonna look at this and then we're gonna go take a look at Sal's bike in the back. All right, so we're here in Sal's little gift shop. <laughs> Can we call it a gift shop? Sure. Uh, all right, so Sal has three bikes, amazing. So he has this 2021? Yes. Uh, Pan America, your Street Glide, which you guys seen on the channel before. What year is the Street Glide? 20. 2020, and then we got the 2021 or 22? 22. 2022? Yes. That's 1,000. M package? Yes. Oh, <laughs> double R. S1000, double R. This thing is a beast. I've taken this bike actually out here. Let me take it out for a little spin around the block before, but it, I'm, you, you can't ride this bike around the block. We gotta put some serious miles on this and just take it on the highway and, and really test it out. So you're gonna be letting me do that soon, right? Absolutely. Pop us out. Whenever you want. Yeah, this, this thing is amazing, man. Beautiful bike, yeah. man. And what, you've changed all these carbon parts that you guys see under here, he's obviously changed out because they had, what, the, everything that's carbon, it came with black before? Yeah. Came with carbon wheels, which are dirty right now. Carbon wheels, woo! And uh, the, this I added, but this is original M from the from BMW carbon, from the M carbon, they call it. And these pictures are from where? That's when you went to Tell the Dragon, right? Yeah, that was Tell the Dragon. That's awesome. Wife. Are we uh we gonna do and this? We got here? dynamoto stands. You can move the bike any way you want. You wanna you wanna go back this year? We we'll go together. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah. I'm down. Then you get the glides out there. Beautiful street glide with the 2021 dash. Oh man, amazing. Nice, nice little set of toys you got here, Sal. <laughs> nice little set of toys for. All right, so out of all the bikes, which one's your favorite? Ah. Uh, uh, it's okay. You don't gotta say. That's tough. That's <laughs> tough. I don't know. I don't even know. 
All right, guys, so we saw the launch. We saw Sal's bikes. We talked a little bit about the new bikes and everything. Amazing stuff. I'm gonna have, obviously, a few follow videos. Uh, There's gonna be a follow video with Jerry as well. I wanna do a little discussion. I wanna see what he thinks about all the new bikes. Um, and then something else. And then I got my huge shoe surprise, which I'm gonna let you guys know within that next video. Well, it might be a separate little video. But yeah, um, I might be riding all these new bikes pretty soon. Peace.